make a real trial in the practice. So maybe the, the real consecution was not this. So maybe in some cases, uh, once your uh, text and a practitioner wants to use some new topic, new interpretation, and then uh, you, you spend time to make research on this. So I, I appreciate that uh, you were not too different than a scholar and then make also practice, but a kind of uh, mix. Uh, an architect doing both uh, without uh, any distinction between uh, being a real practitioner or uh, academic scholar. This Absolutely. is uh, the strong message that you you follow. Uh, in, 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 in oh, that's absolutely you, correct. You said uh, so. You don't say this. Do a search and then uh, let's apply the research. This is not the case. It was a combination. This is, I think, from the students, a uh, very strong message. Very strong. Um, I have one question, but maybe first, uh, since we have not that much time before class is start again, I ask if uh, any of you is for example, question, Professor Dali, or Thank you for your presentation. Uh, the question that I have is uh, the project that you have drawn. For me, the most important thing in this process was the convincing uh, point with the clients, also the city regulation that you talked about it, but you just said that so the client was convinced and I convinced them. Uh, but I think one of the hardest uh, stages in the design and like yeah, training the clients are the that convincing that you, you convince them to apply the theoretical researchers, the research that you had in the university to apply it to the project. So uh, is it possible to explain a little bit more about or the experience that you had that stage? Uh, maybe something that we can learn about it, like no problems. Sure, that's a great question. Absolutely. I mean to convince to convince clients and the uh, city planning uh, you know staff to, to convince people is really key for our architects. Uh, if you want to practice architecture in a way that you find interesting. Um, there, there are, I think there are several questions, several answers to that question, several things to think about. First of all, knowledge. Knowledge is very important. If you have knowledge, you know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, and you can you can draft stories and you can create connections between the one that you are convinced. Not convinced sounds a little bit like you know, I'm trying to install something on you that you don't want and you can produce it. But in this case, I mean learning to know the clients and their needs, I could match their needs with qualities that I saw in these two typologies, both the ADU and the law. There were, there were families with needs. They needed to have new, new spaces. They needed to have, to have spaces that, that supported the lifestyle uh, that they had. And I could see connections because I knew I knew it was good in fact. We're doing research, I've been reading about it, buying it. About it. So knowledge, I think, is really important. Uh, with, with it, as I, with it, it was with the relationship with the family offices. You can know we have knowledge navigate, understand our arguments, uh, and kind of challenge our channel with our arguments knowledge and, and understand you know the basis of, 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 of those arguments and, and sit and not and then explain through knowledge or stand standpoint. I mean that is that is just key. So I think knowledge is, is key to be able to convince and of course it's social skills. Second second um, I mean, okay, we are, our architects are, you know, we are the synthesis of the city. We synthesize things that are happening. We need to be able to understand people, you know, listen to them, and of course to use our knowledge to explain. So, knowledge and social skills may be taken as to that question. Is that okay? Yeah, sorry. Also, I, I can add about that. From my, my opinion, but from your lecture, 
I, I can also add uh, and try to add that it's also important that the network of stakeholders, not only the client, but when you say, okay, let's talk with the officer from that to try to explain what we are doing and you report to the client. And, and, and. So it's a, it's a matter of uh, having a system of uh, relations with yeah. people during the process. It's not just that you that have ideas, the client, the money, and the talk, you can solve the problem. So you have to put this formation in a broader network. And sometimes these networks do not help to convince the client because you can use, uh, you explain very well, you can challenge some rules of code in order to make a more creative response and so convincing the client that is the right strategy to, to get more for your project and so on. Because you, you some way, you can uh, overwhelm the, the code and so the, also the creative result will be better. So it's a, it's a, at least in my experience, but mostly listening to you, it's not always a matter of the architect the convincing the client of a, a dual relation. It's always uh, embedded in a wider network of people that architects can use. In order to, you know. Absolutely. And uh, any other question or I just to share or uh, any other I Space and basically, the, 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 I mean, 
he's quite radical, right? He thinks we could be living in the Renaissance, but look, in in a theoretic sort of way, but he's explaining the Maison Domino. And I read the article that by the way, if I'm not, it's really correlates with thinking about the space points, how radical it is as an idea. And it, it introduces a different, different living space for us. Yes, I think it could be transferred uh, uh, to newer construction. Uh, but then you have an issue here, which is that you we could put on for a long time. What has often happened, specifically with a lot of this, uh, that uh, the real estate industry, because the law became trendy. Right in the states for the nineties, and those developing loft is a commercial became a commercial kind of success story, and that often triggered gentrification processes. Uh, and uh, this has been another the backside of the statement of the loft story is is um, when developers try to build lofts in order to amp up rents uh, to push up all artists from the from the areas where they need to or original work and uh, dwelling and living and working because the rent are increased. So uh, at the same time as I'm, I'm really interested in this trans economy and you see how the backside can also be problematic. Uh, and and that is happening a lot of time I think with this new constructed lots uh, the original lots of contain as other functions I mean, I mean, they did put in a lot of functions. It did not in the new ideals for it. Uh, it basically creates a kind of beautiful city just by bringing materials into the work, into these long spaces, creating art. But it's not only living there. Uh, but, but the process of gentrification is, is, is a big problem. And it also goes to the ADU, actually. Uh, a lot of California cities that has been working with ADU has has uh, launched other kinds of legislation that, for example, requires the homeowner to live on the place to become a sub you So they kind of kind of make it a little bit more difficult to to you know to kickstart this gentrification process uh, that comes with this. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, uh, did I ask the question? <laughs> Sorry. Hi. I wonder if you have uh, any other question that you want. I think it's almost time to ask the most of the questions. I think we can close. Yeah, thank you. Now, another, just a kind of a note to bring home. I was very uh, impressed that together where you said the uh, biomanifest of resistance is uh, about strategy. While it's of disobedience, it's about tactics. It was very clear what is part of the and representing opinion very well the combination of strategy and tactics that any architectural project contains. Because in principle, the project is a strategy, but then in process it became a matter of tactics yeah, yeah. to react to that network of all the stakeholder relations before. So this was also another very clear. Message from your lecture. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.